On December 27, 1975, the series that kickstarted the transforming Tokusatsu hero boom in 1971 and inspired the production of dozens of TV programs in this newly popular genre, Kamen Rider, would finally bow with the broadcast of Kamen Rider Stronger's final episode. On January 3, 1976, one week after the final episode of Kamen Rider Stronger aired, a new television special premiered to commemorate the end of the Kamen Rider series. Altogether, seven Kamen Riders. The special would bring together the actors who played the Kamen Riders of this period, which included Kamen Rider 1, Kamen Rider 2, Kamen Rider V3, Rider Man, Kamen Rider X, Kamen Rider Amazon, and Kamen Rider Stronger. Additionally, Electronic Wave Humanoid Tackle would be recognized through stock footage of her story in Kamen Rider Stronger. The story focuses on the Kamen Rider's mentor and ally, Tobei Tashibana. He is fulfilled by the Kamen Rider's victory over the many evil organizations they fought over the past five years and the peace that they were able to achieve. And he is excited to share stories of their adventures and battles with a group of children. Enthralled by his stories, the kids ask Tobei to take them to see the riders at the nearby Korakuen Yuenshi. The group is greeted with the arrivals of Kamen Rider Stronger and Kamen Rider 1. This triggers a flashback to Kamen Rider's story as Shocker's first victim and his eventual triumph over the evil organization. Tobei also begins to reminisce about the arrival of Kamen Rider 2 and the many battles he had to overcome. Eventually, he snaps out of his flashback to an unexpected surprise, Takeshi Hongo Hayatum Ichimonji, Shiro Kasami, and Joji Juki. The first four Kamen Riders made a last-minute decision to stop by and visit Tobei. The conversation turns to the old days, with Tobei recalling the first two riders' final battles, the arrival of Kamen Rider V3, and the origins and sacrifices that Rider Men made in order to defeat Martial Armor, Destron's last executive. From here, he shares the story of Kamen Rider X until he is interrupted by the arrivals of Keisuke Jin and Daisuke Yamamoto. This then leads to a flashback of Amazon's fight against ten-faced demon Gorgos and Great Emperor Ciro's forces. The flashback moves from Amazon's story to that of Kamen Rider Stronger's journey, but is quickly interrupted by an eruption in the stage show. The Kamen Riders on stage are losing the battle against the Kaijin, who turn out to be real and not actors wearing costumes. After helping everyone evacuate the stage, the real Kamen Riders appear to help counter and defeat the Kaijin on stage. This leads them to discover a secret lair underneath the stage where the person behind the attack has been hiding. He introduces himself as the Great General of Darkness and reveals that he is planning to conquer Japan. His Kaijin forces though are quickly defeated and he is ultimately taken down when the seven Kamen Riders combine their energies and deliver one final devastating attack. With the defeat of the Great General of Darkness, the Kamen Riders make a triumphant appearance in front of park goers and conclude the story by shaking hands with Tobei as the narrator promises us that if any more foes were to appear, the Kamen Riders will definitely reveal themselves once more to save the day. This gathering of the Kamen Riders will be the curtain call on this era of the series, which would go dormant for the next four years. It also heralded the end of the Henshin Boon period, which by 1976 had started to slow down and center primarily around a smaller number of shows including the tremendously successful Himitsu Sentai Go Ranger. While there isn't much to the special story, it does make for a good bookend to the first five entries in the series. It also manages to deliver a feel-good ending to Tobei Tashibana's storyline within the series as he gets to celebrate the successes of each writer while also being recognized by each of them 
as an important member of their team. While he would go on to make one more appearance in the 1979 TV special in Mortal Kamen Rider, this is a unique presentation that didn't include the Kamen Riders and was a standalone one-shot story to help announce the upcoming premiere of the newest Kamen Rider series, Kamen Rider, which would eventually come to be known as Sky Rider. The only other curious aspect of this special is the appearance of a new enemy leader, the Great General of Darkness. His appearance is by far the shortest and one of the most mysterious ones in the series history. Played by Shinzo Hota, the character appears on screen for about one minute out of the 45 minute runtime of this special. The only connection he shows to the series is the Delser Army belt that he's wearing. Eventually, the character would be referenced again in the Shin Kamen Rider Spirits manga when Cyborg Majin Jet Condor reveals that he is the Great General Darkness Incarnation. This special has been released for home video on multiple occasions. First, as a standalone VHS volume on May 21, 1985, which was followed by a Laserdisc release in 1997, and more recently in the Kamen Rider Special DVD in 2004. The special was also made available for the first time in the US on April 5, 2021, when Toei briefly added it to its Tokotetsu World YouTube channel. While not a must watch, this special is highly recommended for fans of the early era of the Kamen Rider TV series.